This is Anna Plas, powered by the African News Agency. You're watching News Bytes, where we give you everything you need to know about Africa now. Just the other day, we told you about the innovative ways Africa is rolling out healthcare, specifically when it comes to preventative measures. So today, we're going to delve a little bit deeper into it. Last week, the Institute of Chartered Chemists of Nigeria, ICON, said it would establish a world-class research and development center in Abuja to enhance chemical research and development in the country. Now, the registrar of the institute, Joel Shik Wilford, made the announcement during the 12th ICON workshop. Now, the theme of the workshop was the synergistic relationship between chemistry and pharmacy and its impact on advancement in drugs development in Nigeria. Now, Wilford said the center would be known as the ICON Research and Development Center, adding that the project was aimed at changing the narrative in the development of chemical research in Nigeria. Drug production required the services of chemists, and so there was a good reason to ensure that chemistry and pharmacy work together to develop pharmaceutical research in the country, he said. So Nigeria is clearly forging ahead with partnerships and developments that will benefit medical research and drug development, which is often a leading factor in the cost of drugs. Now, if we can do the research and development right here in Africa, we could bring down the cost of medication, making it more affordable and accessible to all Africans. Now, when it comes to preventative healthcare, there's been a few massive immunization drives on the continent recently. More than a million children were vaccinated against cholera in Democratic Republic of Congo earlier in July, even as the country battles the second biggest out outbreak of Ebola in recorded history. Now, Gombe State in Nigeria is targeting 985,000 children under the age of five for immunization. This will be rolled out over a period of just four days. It's scheduled to take place at the end of July and into August. Now, the state's deputy director of immunization programs told the news agency of Nigeria that they'd already received adequate vaccines for the exercise. The drive would be targeting polio for the most part, and the healthcare workers have been trained in specific strategies to attract the children, particularly in rural communities where there is still a mistrust of health workers. Now, polio was last detected in Gombe in March 2013, so the health officials are pleased that the continuing rollout of polio vaccinations has kept new instances out. They believe Nigeria is on the verge of eradicating polio completely. Now, this comes off the back of the World Health Organization vaccinating 1.2 million people, mostly children, against cholera in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The campaign saw 2,632 vaccinators recruited mainly from communities going door to door over five days. And there was also mobile clinics that were set up to ensure maximum coverage. It's the second such campaign in the central region of the DRC, the news agency of Nigeria reports, with 1,224,331 people vaccinated in 2018. Cholera, a highly contagious communicable disease, is transmitted via contaminated water or food, which leads to severe dehydration and diarrhea and has to be treated immediately to prevent death. In 2019 alone, there have been at least 12,247 cases of cholera in DRC, resulting in 279 deaths. This immunization campaign was aimed at preventing cholera from gaining a foothold in the country. Now, in June, there was a mass cholera immunization drive in Somalia, during which more than 650,000 people received vaccines. This is News Bite on Anaplas. We make Africa matter.